when we guessed the word, then we were like, Ooh. What is a British hi? Hi, everyone. Welcome. Well, <laughs> <laughs> hi, everyone. <laughs> hi. Hi everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Marco. I'm Shayla. And uh, we are bored. So, uh, in order to resolve this problem, we decided to pick um, some of the British words and British expressions and uh, we'll try to guess them. So come and join us and see if you know any of these. So we just found random words online uh, and none of us know the meaning of it. And uh, yeah. Okay. We're gonna try and guess them, so we'll see what comes we'll out see of this. How it goes, and we have our mobile phones, um, so we will just uh, after each guess we will just check and see the real meaning. So the first word for Shayla is um, Wazak. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Wazak. Wazak. Would they say Wazak? Okay, Wazak. 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 Or Wazak. Would they say it like what a wazok to a person? I don't think it's an idiot, but... Go with your gut. Wazok. It's like silly. It's like what a silly person. You were actually right the first time. Is you, it an idiot? Yeah, it's a stupid or annoying person. <laughs> <laughs> a wazok. A wazok. So second one is for you. Yep. Uh, second one is legless. Legless. Well... Might be deceiving. I don't know. That might be self-explanatory. <laughs> Legless, Pah. legless, legless might mean one without the plan. That's the wild guess. Without the plan. Okay. Yeah. So let me see what I found. Legless, informal British, extremely drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so clearly sense. without a plan. <laughs> All right. He was legless after his booze up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess so. it makes sense. <laughs> Very drunk, no plan. I think, I think we got it. <laughs> the next word we have is mift, mift. I don't know. We'll put the words on the screen so you can <laughs> pronounce it yourself. Mift. Mift. Uh, it also sounds like kind of an adjective. Mift. Mm -hmm. God, nothing comes to mind. Mift, mift. Could it be like? Uh, like hangover. I like. I'm, I'm, I don't, but like continuing the trend. Why yeah. not? Yeah, like when you're hangover. Okay, when you hangover. Mm. Not really. Uh, <laughs> it says it's somewhat annoyed, peeved. So example oh. of this: she turned around, looking slightly miffled. Of course, the My example point. would be with a woman, right? <laughs> <laughs> she turned it. around. You said it. The next one is uh, knackered. Knackered. Oh, that really sounds like really, really drunk. <laughs> I got knackered. <laughs> Is that your guess? That's my final answer. Okay. Knackered is a British slang word that means exhausted or worn out. Oh, so that's what I was... Uh, yeah. I know, I no. said uh, hanged over. And... Hanged over, yeah. Okay. So you said... That I said very drunk. Very drunk. So knackered. it's it's exhausted. Exhausted. I'm knackered. Okay. I'm All really right. tired. Who's saying now? Uh, now you tell to me. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> the next word we have is gobby. Gobby? You is it like... Dog. If... Gobby. Hey, little gobby. Come, dog gobby. Or maybe a mate, no? Like a friend, you could be... Ah, he's my gobby. Ah, uh, he's my gobby. Hey, gobby. <laughs> hey, gobby. Come hey. here. <laughs> <laughs> no, like Dobby from Harry Potter, but you, yeah, yeah. But you call your friend in, in UK, you say, it's my gobby. It's my... <laughs> Harry has his don't dobby. Don't point at me while you don't no. know what does it mean. Harry hey, has his dobby. Hey, my gobby. <laughs> What's up, my gobby? What's, uh, What's okay. a gobby then? So, it says of a person tending to talk too loudly and in a blunt or opinion, opinion, opinionated? opinionated way. So, ah. Like, um, so when someone is very like forthcoming with their opinion, forthcoming, forthcoming, forthcoming with their opinion. Forthcoming, yeah, that's exactly what we need in this video. <laughs> Another complex word. Yeah, okay. like probably a wazak. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are getting we highly educated. Wazak, wazak, you know, being gobby. Next one is for you, and it's collie wobbles. 
Collie wobbles. One word. Collie wobbles. Collie wobbles. I mean, all the words just sound like it has to do something with alcohol. Um, Collie wobbles. Like, <laughs> Why would you? Well, like wobbling. wobbling? Yeah. <laughs> What's your Collie instinct? Wobber. You kind of already have an instinct, no? Collie wobbles. He, he got drunk and, and he wanted to dance a lot. So we, he wanted to do some collie wobbles. <laughs> like dance moves while you're drunk are collie yes, wobbles. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Drunk dance move, collie All right. wobbles. An upset stomach. That's what I said. <laughs> so it has something to do with alcohol. After a it night can. drinking, you have it collie can, wobbles. Yeah. No, it can. I know. So um, <laughs> next word we have is uh, tosh. Macintosh. I, I hope you don't. Macintosh. <laughs> Guacatosh. Maybe that's their way of saying they don't have guacamole, they have guacatosh. Uh, I like Macintosh. Mac and cheese is not British enough. It needs to be Macintosh. Macintosh, yeah. That's a terrible joke. Super bad. Okay, but tosh. Go for it. <laughs> ah, this posh is a word. So what tosh, like posh is something fancy and tosh is like nah, too mediocre. I'll go with that. Okay, it's too so, mediocre. Too mediocre. Yeah. Well, it's rubbish or nonsense. I'm not, I'm not that so, far. So saying it's Macintosh <laughs> while having a Mac in front, it's uh, yeah. Well, Shh. they can't see that. Next one, uh, Marco, is what is minted? Minted. Well, when you put the mint in a drink, it makes it a little bit lively. Minty. It, yeah, it <laughs> makes it a little bit fresh. So saying somebody's minted means means that that person is fresh in, during his lifetime when he would perform activities such as drinking <laughs> you uh, think every single word in well, British to be connected with alcohol well can you can you blame me it's not you it's them well <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. This video is just massively having so many dislikes at this moment. Okay, I'm minted. I'm minted. I'm. What's the I'm, instinct? I'm. 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 I'm happy. I'm minted. It says here that the word mint has two distinct meanings in English, and the usage is uh, as in great, fantastic, brilliant. Hmm. So it's okay. minted means it's brilliant. Brilliant. All right. Brilliant. Oh, we're done with the words. We're done with the words and now we're moving on to expressions. Ah, oh, it's going to be so complicated. It will be. This one is for you and it's I'm chuffed to bits. I'm chuffed to bits. Ah, I'm, this could be like either I'm like super full or um, oh, I I'm, I'm tired. I'm chuffed to bits. Like, I'm really, like, stuffed. <laughs> That's what I'm going with. Oh, you're really stuffed. I'm like, Bleh. Well, it can... Well, kind of. Okay. You're chuffed. It means you're feeling happy or pleased about something. And if you have, uh, you know, some good full food... Full belly, you're uh, happy. You're okay. Happy. Fancy a cuppa? Fancy a cuppa. Well, Fancy a cuppa? being in <laughs> UK for a year now... Right. I would say that means, would you like a cup of tea? And I don't know why I did this accent, it's just stupid, but uh... Something not to your liking, seeing as British people can be precious with how their cup of tea is made. Cuppa is a more informal version of cup of, and is often even used to mean cup of tea on its own. Fancy a cuppa? Good. Good job. Thank you. Good Thank you guess. So, I'm knackered. <sighs> we had it, right? We had the word. Oh, right. Knackered. Wait. So let's test your memory. <laughs> Is it I'm tired? I think it was I'm tired, like exhausted. Oh, it's I'm exhausted, right? Yes, extremely tired. Okay, to bodge something. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. To bodge something. To bodge. To bodge. Something. Bodge. Did you just bodge this? Destroy. 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 Yeah. Um, or like not destroy, but like ruin. Did you bodge this? Again. And in a way, so it says here, uh, make or repair something badly or clumsily. More uh, examples are the doors bodged together from old planks. So it's what like you, 
you fix something, but in a very clumsy way. It's ah, not in a but, good ah, way. Ah, okay, it makes things. Okay, makes things. Make or repair <laughs> makes sense. something badly or clumsily. Okay, it, but it still works, right? <laughs> I mean... It's, it works, I, but I it's get, clumsy but in a bad. clumsy way. Yeah. <laughs> a, f a few sandwiches short of a picnic. This just sounds so British, which is like, what the hell does it mean? <laughs> a few sandwiches short of a picnic. Would it be, I'm guessing, this is what you say about someone. It's like, that person is a few sandwiches short of a picnic. But what would that mean? Oh, it's like, like in Portuguese we say like, that person is missing some screws in their head, you know? That it's okay. like, I so think this is, is like, that person has something off. Like, okay. they're not really like good in the head. Good in the head. Well, it is true. Someone ah. who is not altogether in the mental sense. Nevertheless, someone who can be considered a blundering dumbass. Ooh, that's a bit too harsh. I think a few sandwiches short of a picnic sounds a bit more polite. But it's interesting how a set of beautiful words yeah. can mean something so bad. But that is so British, right? Welcome like... to UK. Mark, you need to guess what is a curtain twitcher. <laughs> curtain twitcher is someone who is not playing by the rules. And wants to kind of... Oh, like when you you, you uh, cut the queue or... Not cut the queue, they're just rude. <laughs> <laughs> they're rude. But being like a bit sneaky about how you do things. Curtain twitcher, plural, plural curtain twitchers, is a British slang which means a nosy person who watches his or her neighbors typically from a curtain and window. <laughs> The, the safety cameras in the in the neighborhood. Yeah. Next one we have full of beans. Ah, you know it. Ah, you're so full of beans. <laughs> like you, okay. like someone tries to tell you uh, something that is not true. So you know? No, I don't know. Uh -huh, I'm okay. guessing. You sounded very convincing. How you know what is it when somebody's you know? <sighs> but I'm guessing that it's like pff, you're so full of be you're so full of sh ah. you know like you're so full of beans. Okay. No, so full of crap, you know? No, not really. It, it means opposite. So <laughs> oh! It means lively, in high spirits. She was laughing and shouting and generally full of beans. See, One beans. would never guess that, okay? So. Guess, Marco, what is... Give me a tinkle on the blower. That does, was not enjoyable to say. And I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> there is a possibility that we might cut this part and you will never see it. Many, many years ago, uh, in I think it was 8th century in United Kingdom they would say give me a tinkle on the blower it would it would it was it actually mean give me a give me a dessert like uh -huh. I want a dessert like give me a tinkle on the blower like I have all this food but just give me a dessert give me a tinkle on the blower give me a tinkle on the blower means give me a call or ring me the phrase is sometimes shortened to give me a tinkle <laughs> Give, Give me a, me a tinkle? tinkle. Why would anyone say that? Ah, uh, tinkle refers to a phone's ring, while blower is slang or telephone and refers to the device that predates phones on ah. naval ships. Ah, ah, what did I say? Back in 8th century, I'm ah. sure they had phones like this. <laughs> <laughs> so the next one is on it like a car bonnet. There's a, a leak in the pipe. Oh, I'm on it like a car bonnet. Like okay. I'm, okay, I'm going yeah. to work on it. I'm, I'm, Got I'm it. working on Got it. Got it. On it like a car bonnet. Smile, humorous. Synonym on it, actively working to solve a problem. Okay. Etc. Next is it's all gone pear shaped. Poor. All gone. All gone. I'm chuffed to bits. <laughs> Everything went like south, bad. We were trying for a week and then all gone pear shaped. I think this video is getting going get to get pear shaped. It describes a situation that has gone awry, perhaps horribly so. A failed bank robbery, for example, could be said to have gone pear shaped. Okay. So yeah. So what kinda, you said? It was. Yeah. yeah. Pretty All good. Right. Pretty. Good. The bees knees. I mean, bees don't have knees, right? We'll cut that out. Um. No. I'm just, I'm just sharing my thoughts out loud. The bees knees. Don't ever do that. Again. They're not. <laughs> like, 
Uh, it's easy peasy, like the bee's knees. Like uh -huh. it's as easy as the bee's knees. Okay. When you refer to something as the bee's knees, it means that it is of excellent or very high quality. Bee's huh, knees. Okay. So this video is a bee's knees. The final one for you is the pot calling the kettle black. I actually know this. My I, I was forced I, to learn this. Yeah, yeah. I have two theories. <laughs> Uh, one is like uh, making fun of something while you are having mm. exactly the same thing or uh, you always need to have a final word blah blah choose blah blah, blah and then you have to like the first one I choose the first one fine <laughs> <laughs> so it's um... The pot calling the kettle black is something you say that means people should not criticize someone else for a fault that they have themselves. So yeah, exactly. Like right. talk about the pot. Yeah, like there's an example. Talk about the pot calling the kettle black. I guess we are much more educated right now on uh, British yes. words and expressions. We'll just go on the street and be like, curtain twitcher, full of beans. <laughs> Give me a tinkle on the blower. <laughs> Don't go saying that on the streets. Give me a tinkle on the blower. No, we're in, we're in UK. No problem. Just give me a call. But there's a lot of foreigners too, you give know? <laughs> well, they should know it. <laughs> <laughs> if they see this video, they will know it. Exactly. So share it with everyone. <laughs> I'll try. Probably Hope it's going to... It. It's going to... Don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe. <laughs> um, hit wait, the wait, wait. notification button. Share this video with your family and friends. Make them happy. Uh, do the right thing. Uh, <laughs> Wasn't it my turn we to speak? Yeah. Well, uh, this was fun. Let us know if you know any of these words or expressions down in the comments. That would be really interesting to see if it is just us or you guys also didn't know about them. Or share with us some of the words. Oh, new ones. We didn't cover. Yeah. I mean, we're going to be here for a little while, so we might as well. We need help. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, leave us a like and subscribe if you're new here and check the other videos that are around. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. See Bye. you in the next one. Bye-bye.